Hello, moon babies. It's Molly. How are you? Thank you so much for being here and welcome to this very special spooky season video. (laughs) This video is brought to you by Art of the Grimoire. The lovely folks at Yale Press reached out to me saying that this book may be of special interest to moon folk here on the channel. And I was like, yes, we'll work for books. (laughs) Just kidding. But seriously, upon researching the book, I couldn't have agreed more that this would absolutely be something that you would enjoy. So I love everything about this book. And Yale Press generously sent me two copies to give away to you. So to win your book, you don't have to buy anything or sign up for anything or do anything. All you have to do is leave a comment on this video. And in two weeks, I will randomly draw two winners and alert you in the comments. Easy peasy. Sounds good. Yeah? Yeah. (laughs) And to celebrate this lovely tome, I thought it would be really fun for us to make a grimoire spread together, inspired by an image we find in this book. So we're doing a little bit of catomancy here, (laughs) and Hildegard is going to pick out our inspiration image. So it's that one. This one? Okay, okay. So we have a woodcut of Venus. Now, I've started a board book Halloween grimoire. So we're going to be working in this book today. And I'm thinking to celebrate spooky season, we're going to do something baneful, maybe a spread focused on some herbs and plants, because I have a mandrake lino cut that is quite reminiscent of the woodcut style from our Venus reference image. So I think the mandrake root is going to be the focal point of this spread. So I'm starting off my spread by smooshing around a little bit of acrylic paint in a color that is reminiscent of our reference image, that kind of creamy parchment color just to start. And then I'm going to work on adding a little bit of texture and interest with paint markers and a bit of spatter. I have this scrap of watermarked paper that I'm going to use as a base for our mandrake, and I think it's just barely gonna fit. Woohoo! All right, we have a mandrake root, and we're going to cut this out. It's on a thicker cardstock, so I think I would like it to be a pullout. We'll see how it goes. This is a pasta box. (laughs) Ye old cursed pasta box. But I'm going to use the little cellophane window that's already part of the box as a fold out for our spread. And to create some texture, I'm pulling in an unusual tool. These are chicory roots that I pulled out of my garden and dried in the oven. So not only do these have a sorceress merit, they're really excellent mark making tools. And I thought it would be fun to use an actual plant to create some of the marks for our baneful plant inspired spread. This is a piece of tracing paper and I like to use tracing paper instead of tissue paper for creating transparent surfaces because it holds up much better to liquid medium. You can really put a lot on here and it doesn't dissolve, but you get to keep that transparency. So we've scribbled a bit more here with our chicory root that's looking fairly morbid. (laughs) I'm going to crush up this dried tracing paper to give it just a little bit of extra texture. We're going to trace a circle and cut it out. And I think that I actually prefer the back side to the front side. So I think that's what we're going to go with. This is a print of a watercolor illustration I made a few years ago, and I'm going to incorporate that into this spread as well. And that's a tip I'd like to give you. 
you can use your own artwork, reproductions of your own artwork in your mixed media work. It's a really fun way to extend the life of things in your sketchbooks or your journals or finished pieces. And what I'm creating here is something reminiscent of a transmutation circle. So unlike the ingredients listed in the book, I am going to skip the raven's blood and go for a red permanent marker. <laughs> And on this circle to create visual texture, I'm actually writing the names of herbs and plants and flowers that are associated with the underworld. Now, this is a really beautiful image. This is a funerary photograph, and I think it's beautiful. And I especially love the texture of the bouquet that she's holding. And that is going to provide sort of a reveal, I think, behind our transparent flap that we made before. And here I am stamping in, in some silver ink, more of those herbs and flowers and trees that are associated with the underworld and afterlife magic. These are just some pressed greens that I'm adding to bring a little bit more of that green in. And here I have drawn a face on my mandrake in the style of our Venus woodcut, and that mandrake is just not having it. <laughs> I'm coming back to our cellophane flap with a few details. I have some of these little scullies because this is indeed a poisonous plant spread, so we definitely need some skulls and crossbones. And I'm gonna finish off this flap with some book corners. So this is a little scrap of false floral that I'm adding a bit of highlight and texture to with acrylic paints and it's just attached to a piece of chipboard that I've painted and inked up and I want to make that color story of that red ink move all the way through our spread so I'm going to finish this little piece of ephemera with some red thread stitches. And now it's time to bring out the adhesives and start putting our pieces together. I've decided to bring in a little bit more of that herbaceous feel for our Baneful Herb Spread with some moss as well as some silk flower leaves that I have altered with paint. And here we have it, a baneful herb spread for spooky season as inspired by Art of the Grimoire. I truly hope that you enjoyed painting with me today, Moon Baby. I certainly enjoyed being here with you. And it is my hope that this inspires you to create magic in your own books, in your own life. And if you like these kind of videos, you can find gobs more just like it on Patreon. And don't forget to leave a comment to be entered to win your own copy of Art of the Grimoire. And until we speak again, Moon Folk, Witch on, witch boldly, and be well. Bye for now. Are you helping? Oh, you're such a good helper. Yes. Such a good helper. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You a grimoire beast. <laughs>